Hey everybody. So some of you know me, some of you don't. My name's Leslie and I'm going to read chapter five. Bear with me. I'm used to reading kids books so this is going to be a big change. Wearing my doe camp shirt and here's chapter five. Tessa and Jade were standing at their lockers talking and as the boys walked down the hall staring in their direction. Lucas had on faded jeans that hung on his hips and a black polo shirt. Tommy was in long khaki cargo shorts and a white tee. Tessa looked around to see who was watching them. <laughs> Everyone was. Their smirks and gazes gave them away. Check out the girls, Tessa whispered to Jade. It's like the guys are fresh meat or something. Jade laughed, but Tessa was annoyed. She grabbed her books for first period and was about to walk away when someone grabbed her from behind. Good morning, Tessa, Lucas said, turning her toward him. He took her hand. Can I walk you to class? Do you get this reaction often, she asked, looking down the hall. He looked and laughed. Tessa, you're dating the quarterback. You'll have to get used to it. Let them look. Only you can touch. He kissed her hand. Want to see him squirm? She didn't have a chance to respond before his hands were on her face and his lips on hers. He slipped his gum in her mouth with his tongue and gently pulled away, staring in her eyes. Check them out now, he whispered in her ear. He grabbed her books from her and then took her hand, and they walked through the gawking crowd of Lucas groupies. She no longer cared that they all looked. He was hers. He had said so. She shook her head and looked up at him. You left something in my mouth. Tessa, don't say that. He smirked, and Tessa was confused, but didn't want him to treat her like he had a camp, like she was too innocent. Instead, she looked behind her at Jade and Tommy. Jade seemed so happy, truly. Tommy took Jade's hands. Good morning, pretty girl. She hugged him. Good morning. He took her books, and they held hands, walking down the hall. Yep, this was happening. And contrary to what she had thought, it wasn't a bad thing. How could it be when it felt so good? At lunch, the boys joined them, and everyone stared again. Tessa was embarrassed at first, but seemed to be getting used to it. After practices, she hung out with Lucas and their friends for a bit, and then the boys gave them a ride to Tessa's house. Not wanting to go to her mom's after the game... Tuesday, she chose to do so tonight instead. When Tessa went to her mother's after practice, she walked into the small two-bedroom apartment and looked around, wondering how her mother could choose to live like this. What the hell had happened to her? She and her mom had French onion soup and a large salad for dinner. They ate quietly without conversation. Tessa, do you like that boy? her mother asked, breaking the uncomfortable silence. Lucas is my boyfriend, Mom, she said blandly. He's cute, Tessa, Maggie said. Just please remember what you were taught. I got it, Mom. I'll try to remember that none of it means anything, because after 20 years, it won't matter anymore. Tessa, you don't know what I lived for those years. I don't expect you to be happy about it. I do, however, expect you to be respectful of me and respectful of yourself always. Tessa excused herself and went into the spare bedroom to do her homework. She was working on her English essay when Lucas sent her a text message. How's it going, baby? Dot, 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 Lucas. Baby, huh? LOL. As good as could be expected. Dot, 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 bored. Smiley face. Dot, 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 Tessa. Yes, baby. My baby. Winky face. Sorry to hear that. Sneak out, I'll come get you, dot, 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 Lucas. Don't you have homework? I do, lots of it. I'll suffer through, Tessa. All done, dot, dot, dot. Want me to come over and do it for you? Dot, 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 Lucas. I would love that, however, she would not, dot, dot, dot. She asked me about you today. Told her that boy was my boyfriend, Dot, 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 Tessa. How did she take it? Dot, 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 Lucas. As well as could be expected, she'll get used to it. Gotta go. 
dot, 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 babe, see you in the morning, dot, 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 Tessa, can I pick you up? It's on my way, dot, 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 Lucas, all right, she leaves at 7.10, dot, 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 Tessa. Lucas was at the door at 7.12, punctual, Tessa said as she opened the door, mildly embarrassed. Please excuse the place. I've seen worse. We have about 30 minutes before we have to leave. What do you want to do? Lucas asked. I don't know, she said as her eyes widened and she looked away. Baby, look at me. You never have to be nervous around me. She looked up at him. That's better. Now, what do you want to do? Kiss you, because it feels good. But there has to be more than that, Lucas. I want to know you and your heart, too. No way did that just come out of my mouth. Look at me, baby, he said, lifting her chin. I have an idea. You ask me a question, and then I get to kiss you after I answer. It's a win-win. I don't know about that. She bit her tongue, trying to remove the cheesy-ass grin on her face. Aw, I see you want to, Tessa. It's written all over that gorgeous face, he smiled. His eyes were sparkling. He looked so cute. Okay, but we can't be late for school, she said. Eyes dancing in mischief. He laughed. You couldn't lie if you wanted to. Sit knee to knee right here. They sat on the floor. Ask away, Lucas said. Parents divorced or married. Divorced since I was three. Now my turn. He leaned forward and kissed her on the mouth. Who do you live with? Tessa asked when he pulled away. My mom. My father lives in New Jersey. We see each other a few times a year. My turn again. This time, she leaned forward and kissed him lightly on the mouth. She started to move back, but he stopped her. If that's all I get, we can move to yes or no questions. He kissed her, then gently bit her lip. She sat back. So, the deeper the question, the longer the kiss, huh? Okay, let's see. Parents remarried or not, siblings or no siblings. He laughed. You're tough, Tessa. After I answer this one, you may want to take a deep breath. My parents divorced because they both had affairs. My mother remarried first to someone younger. They lasted three years. She's a drunk. My father has remarried three times. The girls get younger every time. Well, the soon-to-be ex is older. He has two kids with wife number four. Both girls. One is two, the other three. I see him on occasion and feel like an outsider. He owns a construction company and several properties. He likes to buy my love, which at this point I'm okay with. Tessa took his face and kissed him. Her tongue moved into his mouth. She kissed him harder, tasting him. Her tongue pressed against his. He groaned, and she kissed his face and his neck. She moved up to his ear and tugged on his lobe with her teeth. Tessa, you need to stop. His voice was gruff. She looked embarrassed. I'm sorry. Don't be sorry. I love how curious you are. But it makes me want to do things to you, he said, closing his eyes. You want to do things to me? She asked seriously. God, yes, Tessa. You turned me on just by looking at me, he said, grabbing her by the waist and sitting her on his lap. He kissed the back of her head and down her neck. He bit at her ear and then sucked on the lobe. Oh, she thought. That was nice. She turned her head back facing him, and he kissed her hard on the mouth. She grabbed his face and crushed her mouth into his. She began kissing him harder. He lifted her and sat her on the floor. Wow, Tessa, what was that? Is that a question, she asked him, smiling and biting her lip. Tessa, you're playing with fire. I'm on fire right now. Shall I be the fireman? She raised her eyebrows. Holy fuck, Tessa. I thought you were a virgin and shit. I mean, what was that all about? I'm sorry, Lucas. I didn't mean... Well, no, that's not what I meant. Oh, my God. I was just trying... I'm sorry. She stood and ran to the bathroom and shut the door. He tried to open the door, but she had locked it. Damn it, Tessa. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Tessa, please open the door. Look, I wasn't trying to upset you. I apologize, baby. Please open the door. She walked out, cleared her throat. Will you please take me to school? I don't want to be late. He grabbed her face. 
I said I was sorry. I just thought because you'd never been kissed, you were a virgin. And then you started talking about role-playing? I thought you wanted to take this slow. I'm sorry. I am a virgin, you asshole. You were my first kiss, but I haven't been living under a rock for 18 years. So yeah, I'm a virgin, not an idiot, she snapped. He laughed, and she pulled away from him. If you're not going to take me to school, then you should leave now. Tessa, I've never met anyone like you. And when you're sitting on my lap and kissing me, well, your kisses do things to me. I want you, but I was trying to respect you and not, well, you know. He takes a deep breath and runs his hand over his face. Damn, Tessa, you confuse me. She looked up at him. Can we go, please? We'll be late. No. He grabbed her shoulders. Not until I know we're okay. We will be. I'm just... She set her hands on his hips and looked down, embarrassed. He pulled her into him, hugging and kissing her tenderly on top of her head. I'm sorry, Tessa. Me too, she said. He kissed her again, sighed, and then took her hand and walked out the door. Was this from your father? Tessa asked when they got into Lucas's car. Yep, for my 17th birthday, he answered as he pulled into the street. He must have really been trying to buy your love that day. He laughed and grabbed her hand. How many girlfriends have you had? Tessa, do you really want to know now? She could sense he was uncomfortable with the conversation. Maybe we should wait until we have time to play the game again. And now he was stalling. Now, please. I really don't know. Lost count, he started to turn on the radio, and she grabbed his hand. What was the longest relationship? Tessa, do we have to do this now? He asked, looking out the corner of his eye nervously. Yes. Eight months. Was it Sadie? She asked quietly. Yes. Did you have sex with her? Tessa? I want to know. I cannot believe I'm answering this, but yes, I did. Was she your first? Really, Tessa? He said as he pulled into the school parking lot. Please? No, Tessa. I've had a lot of sexual partners. My first was when I was 14, he said. She gasped. See? We shouldn't have had this conversation now. How many? Sadie was number 12. They got out of the car and started walking toward the school. They were all before you, Tessa, and none were at all like you. You're just better. I don't have time to explain it now, but I will after school. Please just don't be mad. She gave him a weak smile and a peck on the cheek. I'm not. I'll see you at lunch. The bell rang and she ran to her locker and quickly toward class. Why are you so late? Jade asked from behind her. Long story. I'll catch you up later. She answered dismissively. Sitting in class, Tessa looked out the window and thought about what her mother had said. Remember who you are. At this point in her life, Tessa really didn't know who she was. She did know that she didn't want her first time to be with someone who was just going to use her and move on to the next person. The rumors about Lucas seemed to not be lies. Twelve women. Twelve.